So in the meanwhile, that most of us joins in, let's just recap all the things that we have done so far. Uh, the first thing that we did was created that start screen uh, that can allow us to just start playing in any of the versions that we want. Currently, we are just programming everything for space mode. So anything that we do here, we would start to play this game. <clears throat> So we are kind of having a little problem about the direction of the bullets and we are going to take a work with. So let's try to figure out how can we make our bullets more organized. So, so far what we have done was uh, in the shooter code, if I would see that, we have assigned where the shooter should be when we start the game. Uh, we have assigned what should be the size of the shooter. We have set the direction at start to 90. So whenever you switch to this screen, the direction of the shooter, if you would see, is not set to uh, 90. So that is usually a problem that we are facing. So we need to fix this thing first. So we would say that let's just, uh, instead of having it here only, we are just going to make sure that we set direction to 90 whenever the flag is clicked on also. So this way, whenever we would start the game, that's where the shooter would be. But the bullet direction is kind of a little tricky here. So we'll try to figure out how can we fix that. So currently what you see is the bullets are not being fired exactly in the way that they should be. Uh, your character is facing somewhere else, but the bullets are facing somewhere else. So in order to fix that, we are going to make sure that whenever we start the game, the direction of the bullet is also 90 degrees, and then it changes after that. So yeah, that's fixed. And if I change it and if I just get to this one, uh, that does not change the direction of my character which is kind of a problem in here so let's try to figure out that why isn't this happening why this um, this character which sees direction is 40 i want it to be like this one whenever you start the game so for that i am going to make sure that my character points in direction 90 whenever this happens okay so let's say that i change its direction a little and now i try to start the game again and now you see that the character is in perfect state so it's having a direction of 90 when it starts only the problem that we are having is now the bullet is not so inside me so it is following the direction of the character, but it's not coinciding with the character. So we're just going to see that how can we do that. Okay. So let's try to fix this up. So we go to this bullet and try to code it. So when backdrop switches to this uh, space mode, we have told that our character should go to the shooter and it should change six by 50. But I have chosen a similar code in another game also. I would like to open that too, so that I could explain that to you more clearly. So I would open another thing that I have made. Documents, that's uh, very nice. Two thing, a shooting six, let's say. We open this and try to figure out what the problem is with it. So in this one, what we have done is we have asked the bullet to be at a certain point when the game starts, which we haven't done in this one, in, in our basic game. So we are going to make sure that our bullet starts at a certain point, wherever our uh, character, you can say that shooter is starting, the bullet should also be there when the game starts. So what we do is we go to uh, that game that we were making. Okay. 
to see what happens here is that we have not assigned our tutor a certain place. We actually have done that. That our tutor is at man plus one seventy and zero. But for the bullet, we haven't um, told where the bullet should be when the game starts. So if our shooter is at minus 170 and zero, I would suggest that our bullet our, uh, bullet should also be at 170 and zero. So what I do is I just make my shooter point in direction 90 also when the game starts. So let's run it now. And now uh, we define where our bullet is when we start the game. You can see that the shooter is at one minus minus one seventy and zero. So we would want the bullet to also be at that. Currently, your bullet is there, but once you go a little forward, the bullet stays there. But once you turn, the bullet does not turn according to that uh, direction of your. We can say that uh, shooter. So it's not actually following the shooter's code. It is just uh, changing its X position. So what we need to do is instead of asking our bullet to change X position by 50, I would ask my bullet to move 50 steps. So that is a simple way that is going to help me change the direction of my bullet character also. Let's run this game again and see what happens. Just figure out where the bullet is. That is where the bullet and now that is where the bullet is. And if you shoot, you can see that the bullet is shooting in all the ways that it is possible. So it's directly shooting the bullet in right direction. So that is how this bullet shooting is actually working. It's now shooting in the correct direction. So now we go towards the last part of our game and that last part of the game is that we need to create any means that we are going to shoot. So for that, I'm going to uh, use a similar structure as this uh, So I will just see what I did was I selected all of this diagram, all of this picture. Now I'm going to paint a new character and I'm just going to paste it there. Once I have pasted it, I will remove the unnecessary detail. For example, this shooter, my shooter has this, that's that gun in his hand, that's fine. But the enemies don't need to have that gun. So let's say that's a, it's a zombie sort of thing. So they do not have, uh, let's say, guns in their hands. And also they would have different, or uh, you can say, coloring. So let's try to make, yes, 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 yes. Sir, you have recording the recording, so I will not make it. No problem. If recording is complete, then I will not make it. Okay? Okay. Now, the last one is that we are a character, which is, let's say, we will give it a name, zombie. So, this is a zombie character in the last character of our game. This size is a little bit bigger, and this is a little bit bigger. It's a little bit bigger. हमने क्या करना की हमने शूटर के साथ इस कैरेक्टर को शूट कर लिया तो पहले शूटर को फिक्स कर लेते हैं की शूटर इसको शूट कैसे करेगा शूटर इसको शूट करता है तो होना ही चाहिए Okay, if your bullet touches the zombie, बिल्कुल इसी तरह से आप जब केव टचिंग द हेड, यू विल डिप्ली गेट दैट और इफ द बुलेट टचेस द जॉम्बी तो भी बुलेट को डिलीट हो जाना चाहिए अभी एक फुट सी निरीक्षण बुलेट जैसे ही जॉम्बी को टच करती है वो डिलीट हो जाती है बुलेट स्टे नहीं कर रही बुलेट जॉम्बी को टच करती है और डिलीट हो जाएगी अगर बुलेट जॉम्बी को टच नहीं करती तो आप देखेंगे वो एज पे जाके लगती है बट इफ द बुलेट इज टचिंग द जॉम्बी इट डज नॉट हिट द एज इट जस्ट गेट्स डिलीटेड ठीक है डिलीट हो गया हां 
तो दिस गेम इज काइंड ऑफ वेटी मच रेडी ना अब हमें सिर्फ काम करना है कि हमें जोम्बी को कोट करना है ये जोम्बी को हम स्क्रीन पर मूव करवाना चाहते हैं सो फॉर दैट अगैन हम लोग उसी तरह से वेन फ्लैग क्लिक्ट का एक इवेंट लेंगे तो गो टू इवेंट पिक अप दिस इवेंट विच इज वेन फ्लैग क्लिक्ट एंड वेन एवर द फ्लैग इज क्लिक्ट वॉट शुड है that uh, your zombie should hide so again go to looks and ask it to hide so ab aap flag press karte hain aur dekhte hain ki aapka zombie disappear ho gaya now again dusra wala bhi event ki agar aap space mode mein aate hain to bhi sari game ki coding hum us space mode ke liye hi kar rahe hain okay और इसके बाद अगली चीज पर चलता on this side of the wall so this side of the wall agar show karwana hai to hum back pe kya karte hain humne zombie ke paas jaate hain so is space mode se king zombie aake isse utha ke yahan pe rakhte hain theek hai aur iska size uh, the position dekh sakte hain x is 234 or y is minus 3 y hoti hai height yahan aur yahan aap chahte hain ki zombie kahin se bhi aa jaye to uske liye aap sirf ye karenge ke y ko 3 kar denge और एक्स की पोजीशन को फिक्स कर दीजिए उसके लिए व्हाट यू डू इज गो टू मोशन इंटीरियर कैरेक्टर टू गो टू एक्स वाई जिसमें एक्स की पोजीशन है 232 वन <laughs> events Sorry, controls. Pick up a forever control, and just. Oh, can you? 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 So currently you can shoot the shooter. The bullet deletes, but the shooter does not kill itself. Uski reason ke ke abhi aapne shooter ko program nahi kiya hai kill hone ke liye. So let's say ki hum log kar kaise isko kar sakte hain. The next thing that now we need to do is ki hum is shooter ko kill karna hai. So shooter ko jaise hi bullet lagegi, this shooter should disappear. So uski liye aap karenge. If loop ko hi, theek hai? Okay, if loop को यूज करने से पहले यहाँ पे y की पोजीशन को फिक्स कर देते हैं y की पोजीशन फिक्स नहीं होनी चाहिए इस वजह से हम एक रैंडम वैल्यू देंगे माइनस हंड्रेड से प्लस हंड्रेड तक इसके अकॉर्डिंग ठीक है अब जब भी शूटर को किल करेंगे तो ये शूटर डिफरेंट जगह से अपीयर हो जाएगा सी जब भी शूटर बात है स्क्रीन पे So it comes from a yeah, different place. It's not coming from the same position. Yeah. So this is basically what we wanted from the zombie. That it different jagon se appear hota re screen. Okay. Now what you do next is that you program your shooter so that if you just see bullet lagye, so it disappear ho jaye aur dubara screen par. Uske liye what you would do is go to sensing. and go to controls controls se hamesha kitna ek if block nahi which helps you to decide that how does a 
a character response. So in the sensing, what you need to do now is tell your character that if it touches the bullet, if this zombie character touches the bullet, it disappears. So you just simply tell your character to start back from the top position again. Nothing else. And just tell it that if sensing pe jayenge, if the zombie is touching the bullet, what it does is it goes back to this position. So now you would have no shooters coming in. bullet changes if it touching the zombie it should not delete instantly it should wait for some time so we will say wait for 0 0.3 seconds and then just delete the scroll now you would see that when you would uh, touch the zombie it would have its impact see now you touch the zombie shoot the zombies down and they and they would disappear so that is how this i still feel that this zombie is moving very fast so let's make it move a little more slower by adding by asking it to move only two steps at a time now this is how your game would be working you shoot the character it come back from the left side and you just need to keep shooting them as much as you can to increase your score but our game does not have scores in it right now. So let's figure out how can we map, make scores also. So in order to make scores, what we would do is that we would uh, start off with uh, having, let's say that, uh, how do we score? Yes, we need to introduce a variable here. So that variable is going to be called kills or shoot. Or oh, whatever word you feel suitable. That's a score. So every time a bullet touches a zombie, you are going to change score by one. And whenever you start the game, your score should be set back to zero. So whenever the game starts, the score gets back to zero. Now this game is complete. All you need to do is just make this game workable for the second backdrop screen also, so which is very simple. All you need to do is, you see this game works in the space mode, but this game does not work in the other mode. If I would start with the play tunnel mode, this game does not work. So what I need to do is I need to go to the shooter, let's say, I have already made its code. This process is called modularization, so that you have already made this code here. You just want the same code to be applied to the second part of the game also. So what you need to do is just duplicate that code and change its menu here, which says space mode. You just need to ask this game to go into the tunnel mode, okay? So this game now goes to the tunnel mode also. And same is the case for the bullet. So every code that you have done for the space mode, just duplicate that code. Bye. And change the space mode to the tunnel mode. Okay. And same is the case for the zombies also. Just duplicate everything that you have done in the space mode and make it to the tunnel mode also. So now this way your game works in both the modes. Work similarly. But right now, there is only one thing missing in the game. That is, we don't know that how do we end this game or how do we lose this game. So we basically lose this game when we touch the zombie. So if the zombie touches the shooter, we would lose this game. So we haven't coded that part yet. So let's just add that part in the shooter's code. Just tell the shooter here in this forever loop, if this shooter touches the zombie, it's it's going to end the game. Okay, so we go 
something like that if this shooter touches the zombie so we go with the if, if control and say if this shooter sensing touching zombie then go to end screen or maybe go to start screen once again so it's up to us that where do we want to go if we want to stop everything all you need to do is just go to controls and say stop all and similarly duplicate this code and add it in the tunnel mode as well so now when you get hit by the zombie or if the zombie touches you your game would eventually stop after that see everything stops as you as soon as you touch the zombie so that is how this game would work anything that you guys want to ask from this game Sir? Yes, Mustafa? In the catching game in which we have the line and the ball and the apple, I want to make it like the apple touches the line, so it became and the point the scores goes zero. So that is how it should work, right? The score should go back to zero when you yes. start the game. So do you need help in that? Yes. Can you share your screen? I will help you.